Welcome to Liberty University CSCI 601. This PowerPoint focuses on Project 1. First of all, similar to what you've done in previous labs, in our project we're going to be incorporating security policies similar to Lab 2. You may need to elaborate and or explain. Keep in mind if this is not in the body of your paper, you may want to uh, actually include the policy as a appendix. Moving forward, we're going to be describing the overall network architecture. If you make any assumptions, list them in your paper. Again, the big one that we're assuming is that you're a, designing a network architect for a complex enterprise with a diverse application, user community, and device mix. And other than that, it's pretty broad, so you have some leeway. You're going to be looking at security threats and vulnerabilities, so you're going to be looking at like DDoS and DOS attacks, uh, malware like worms, viruses, trojans, things like man in the middle, root kits, and you're going to discuss data security and privacy for remote devices. Keep in mind, this will be a section of your paper, and you also need to document how these threats and vulnerabilities are mitigated or transferred. How are you dealing with the risk of them in your overall network? You may have an additional level of protection that's not required, though it is recommended that you discuss the additional protection if necessary. Uh, I normally tell students to look at backups data replication, off-site uh, locations like a hot site or a cold site. Moving on is our requirements. For this paper, it is broad, I understand. So if you get stuck, reach out, first of all. Requirements, things that you have to include. Five content pages, five references, minimum. Here's the overall grading criteria and the points possible. You have to use APA formatting. Use an appendix if necessary. I want everything in a single word document. I don't want eight documents. One word documents. If you are not sure how to manipulate Word to do what you need to do, reach out and let me know. Diagrams need to be uh, correct and labeled correctly and according to APA formatting rules. Also, margins, again, should be the one inch APA standard, Times New Roman, 12 point font, double spaced. It's graduate level work, you know what to do. If you get stuck at any point, reach out. You are allowed to draft submissions. Do not wait until week four to submit your drafts. The drafts take me a while to review. So if you want a review of your draft, submit them early and I will give you feedback. Also, organize your paper correctly. Use level headers to separate the different steps. Use level headers correctly. And a lot of people laugh at that, but I've been teaching this class for several years and so many graduate students don't write using level headers at all correctly. Several of them do, but most don't. Also, end your paper correctly. Don't just end with a sentence. End with a conclusion. Bring me to the last topic. Make sure that when you're doing this that your paragraphs are structured correctly. A paragraph is a main topic and four or five supportive sentences about the main topic. A paragraph is not one or two sentences. So do not give me a paper where the majority of your paragraphs are one or two sentences. That is not graduate level work and it will be returned to you with a zero. If you have any questions or concerns, again, reach out. Thank you.